before the cheerleaders. Before the ball bounced. There was a little scrawny kid that hated being tall. And I used to go to my parents all the time. And I used to say, Mommy and Daddy, why am I so tall? And my mom, and you, you have to know her, in her sweet, reassuring voice, would always say, God has a plan. Well, as a middle school kid, and the most important thing was the middle school dance, and all I wanted to know was what I was going to wear and what flats I was going to wear, because I didn't want to be tall, especially in middle school when the boys came up to my chin. <laughs> and, and my mom and dad had a way of just making things OK. Well, got through middle school and went on to high school. And the one good thing was the boys got taller. OK? <laughs> and OK, we, we all remember that pink taffeta mermaid prom dress. OK? I think I look pretty sharp. But I will tell you, I had on flats, no heels. But realistically, I was just that tall kid. Every nickname, too tall T, big T, T legs. Everything was associated with my height. And I didn't know how to handle it. My, my high school coach, Patty Langworthy, who I still talk to today, shoved a ball in my hand. And she said, you're tall, you're going to play basketball. And at that time, I ran track. But I didn't know. And, and tall doesn't equal success. And just because you're tall doesn't mean you know what hoop to shoot at, what basket you shoot at. I had to learn that. Now, I credit my coaches and, and my father who played and my husband who at that time was my boyfriend, the handsome gentleman that was in the last photo. <laughs> but I, I got better. And by my senior year, I was preseason All-American, USA Today All-American, and things were looking really good. Well, the day before my first game, my senior year, we were at Wilson High School in Washington, D.C. Going up, breakaway layup, okay? And this is, this is a couple of weeks after Gino Ariema was in my living room. Gino Ariema is the head women's basketball coach at the University of Connecticut, coaching tonight in a, for a national championship. Well, Gino offered me a scholarship to play at the University of Connecticut. So everything was good. I was on top of the world. Well, I get a breakaway layup at Wilson High School. And as soon as I get it, I hit a dead spot right on the floor. Tore my ACL. And I tore it before I signed the National Letter of Intent. So now, what is this 17-year-old in 1990 when the doctor tells you, even when we repair it, you will never be the same? How do I handle that? Who do I go to? Well, I go to my mom and dad. And my mom, in that reassuring voice, said, God has a plan. Well, at this point, mom, you know, <laughs> 13, you said he had a plan. 17, you said he has a plan. But I, I, I was a little leery, because I didn't know at this point what to do. Young lady by the name of Trudy Lacey. Trudy Lacey took a liking to me. And uh, Trudy was the head coach at the University of South Florida. And I previously told her no. I, I was going to Connecticut. Well, she said, I'm going to send you to a junior college for two years to rehab that knee, to see if you trust it again. And then I want you to come play for me. Well, I went to Pensacola. My first year was a little rocky. I had to test the knee out. My second year, I was team captain, led the team in rebounding, averaged a double-double, and we have a championship banner hanging in that gym. So that doctor who told me I was never going to play again is wrong, was wrong, OK? Then I went on to South Florida, had a stellar career. Again, double doubles, leading the team, captain. Things were looking great, OK? Things were looking great. So now I'm, I'm, the confidence is building. Maybe, maybe mom was right, OK? So I transition, and, and, and I'm working in the athletic department. 
communication major, so working in marketing. Well, I run into a coach that was the head coach at Georgetown University. And he remembered recruiting me, but I had told him no. He offered me an assistant coaching job on the spot. So my first, head, my first coaching job was at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. What a great opportunity to be home, to be coaching, in my opinion, at one of the schools that we call the Mecca. Well, six years go by, I got to mentor, I got to teach, I got to motivate. I got to go to New York and, and sit with a player who was picked in the first round draft of a WNBA. Tenth pick, first round, Rebecca Brunson. I still talk to Becky to this day. I move on to Wake Forest University, where I was there for eight years. Assistant and then graduated to the associate head coaching position. Keep in mind, both of these, these jobs I never applied for. Now, as I stand here as your head women's basketball coach here at the College of Charleston, when I got that phone call from our athletic director, Joe Hall, and he said, you're the one, I was speechless. Not because I didn't think I was ready, but I thought about what my parents told me. I thought about what my mom said. And for me to have the opportunity to be the head coach, to motivate, to teach, to mentor. When I was that kid, that one that hated being tall, two wondered at 17, why me? Why did I tear my ACL? What is the plan? Well, the plan now is to be that mentor, to be that leader, to be that big sister, to be that mother figure, to be that role model. So now when these young women go through the adversities that I was challenged with, I know exactly what to say. I know how to help them. So now, I'm not that scrawny little kid anymore by far, okay? So I kick off these flats, because I'm not afraid to be tall. I walk over. <laughs> I need my chair to put these on. <laughs> and now, I'm 6'2", with these heels. With these heels on, I'm not only 6'2", I'm 6'6". <laughs> and I stand here strong and I stand here confident. That scrawny little 13-year-old that hated being tall is now 40 years old, confident, and full of life. And I look at my mom who's sitting in the audience, my mom and dad, and mom, you told me God had a plan, and I am living proof. Thank you, and I love you both. <laughs>